364 days a year, things are very serious here at Memorial Stadium as the Indiana Hoosiers prepare to win football games, not only in the non-conference, but the Big Ten as well, and trying to go bowling here in 2011. But this is the one day where they let loose and have a good time with the kids from the Boys and Girls Club of Bloomington. All right, once again, it's become an annual tradition, not only the Boys and Girls Club of Bloomington making their way here to Memorial Stadium, but an interview with Shauna Meyer Niederman. And <laughs> Shauna, you could tell as the kids were coming down the hill, they're pretty excited to meet the football team. They're so excited. And I was telling um, the, the players that every kid that was here last year was looking forward to it since they left. And every other kid was looking forward to it since the minute they heard about it. So uh, the anticipation, when are we leaving? When are we leaving? When are we leaving? We were ready at like two. They were just so excited to come. You can tell a couple of the kids are wanting to impress the coaches. They showed up wearing uniforms. Yes, and, and he had planned that. And he's like, well, I have to make sure that I have, I've have i been hydrated and that I wear my outfit right. And so he's he's he learned a lot last year. <laughs> and the student athletes really get into it as, you know, they're kind of apprehensive at first, waiting to meet the kids. And as soon as they break out of the station, the 20-year-old kids become 8-year-old kids. Yeah, it's a really good point. And it's so funny because the even the girls, you know, coming up and they're like, well, I don't really know. These are really big, cute guys. What am I going to do? And then you see the players and they're like, there's a really little kid. What am I going to do? And then you're out here and you see them tackling and playing wiffle ball. And, you know, it's there's a kid in everybody and everybody's a kid. So it's really cool to see this. Well, this has become an annual tradition for Indiana football, and uh, Coach Steele, you've been around it a long, long time, and you can tell that the kids really get excited, and you're one of those kids that actually drove through a tackling dummy earlier today. I was very motivated this morning trying to channel my inner Dick Butkus there and show the kids how to tackle, but this is fun. Our, our, I don't know who has more fun, our players or, or the kids from the Boys and Girls Club. It's a great way of giving back, and Coach Wilson's been great about doing this, and it's just awesome. Well, and you look at a couple of the kids on your team, and D'Angelo Roberts, Leon Beckham, they went through not only the Boys and Girls Club, but this Boys and Girls Club. Exactly, the Boys and Girls, and David Blackwell, you know, we've got Bloomington kids that have gone through this, and, and it's just a great thing, and, and I know the Boys and Girls Club kids look forward to it every year, and, you know, we have a bunch of, bunch of fun stuff for them, some football stuff and some fun stuff with the sponge relay and the tug of war, not all football related, but it's a lot of fun. Home run derby and baseball here, but it's it's a lot of fun. I think I saw Mark Hill peering through the window watching his student athletes get beaten tug of war by a bunch of 12 year olds. He's not going to be happy. No, not going to be happy at all. Uh, we, we, we didn't have a good grip. I think the grips, uh, we got to work on our grip on the tug of war. The, the little kids did a better job on the grip, but this is great. And, and it's, it's been a nice day. The day's nice. It's not too hot and the kids are having a, uh, just a ball. And, and uh, again, this is one of the fun days of the year for IU football. All right, Leon, we'll, we'll talk about your history with the Boys Club and the fact that you are a Good Works nominee from the AFC. Very exciting stuff. But uh, how glad are you that you're not practicing in this heat today? Uh, I mean, I, I guess I'm pretty glad, but I know it's going to be hot when we start practicing. So, I mean, it's just something we got to get used to. Knowing that you're from Bloomington, you participate in this program, how nice is it to have a day with the kids and the program that you grew up in? Uh, it's so nice because, as you said, I mean, I've been going to this since I was little, since I first came here at Boys and Girls Club, so kind of good to give back to the community and show them how to do it. You've only seen oh, maybe 10, 15 tackles so far, but any of the kids got good form? I see a couple of this big guy right here. I saw him hit it real hard, so it's pretty nice. 